battery sizing now requires a data-driven, state-specific approach. Here's the step-by-step -step process that actually works. Step one, gather your real usage data. Don't guess, get the facts. Log into your utility account and download your hourly usage data. Most utilities now provide this. If hourly data isn't available, use a whole home monitor like Sense or Emporia View for two to four weeks. Step two, calculate state-specific battery needs, California, NEM, 3.0 method, Focus on evening peak consumption 4 to 9 p.m. weekdays. Here is an example calculation for a San Diego home. Summer evening usage 22 kilowatt hours, AC running heavy. Winter evening usage 12 kilowatt hours, minimal AC. Solar production during peak 3 kilowatt hours, late afternoon sun. Target battery size 22 kilowatt hours minus 3 kilowatt hours equals 19 kilowatt hours minimum. Add 20% safety margin, 23 kilowatt hours final target. Arizona or Nevada arbitrage method. Identify your peak hour consumption minus solar production during peak. Here is an example calculation for a Phoenix home with APS. Peak hours, 4 to 7 p.m. weekdays, that's three hours. Home draws five kilowatts average during peak equals 15 kilowatt hours. Solar produces two kilowatts during peak hours equals six kilowatt hours. Battery needed 15 kilowatt hours minus six kilowatt hours equals nine kilowatt hours minimum. For weekend coverage, nine kilowatt hours. Times two days equals 18 kilowatt hours target. Texas overnight charging method, size for your highest day hour consumption that you can shift to overnight charging. Here is an example calculation for a Houston home with TXU free nights. Peak day usage 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. equals 35 kilowatt hours. Solar covers. 25 kilowatt hours during day. Grid needed, 10 kilowatt hours from expensive day rates. Battery target, 10 kilowatt hours times two day backup equals 20 kilowatt hours. Free charging window, nine hours, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Easily accommodates recharging.